Let's take a quick overview of the Jupyter 8V, at least the interface here. In the front panel here, we're looking at the main synthesis elements, and pretty much everything resides over here. In the bottom section, we have the virtual keyboard, and we can even click on it directly. But ideally, you want to be playing the instrument with your MIDI controller. There's a little drop-down menu here related to saving presets, importing presets, exporting presets. You can even resize the interface window. Going above 100% looks great because of the vector scaling of the graphics, so no pixelation at all. You can also access the user manual from here. Clicking over here lets us open the preset browser. So you have a huge collection of presets that you can look through. You can narrow your search by selecting certain types, certain styles, or certain banks. I just have the factory bank here. Another way to access presets is by clicking directly over here and then selecting any preset from this list. At the bottom here, we can see the CPU usage, but clicking on it will activate the panic button, so it'll kill all active nodes. All right, so you notice how I hit that button and those nodes were immediately cut out. There's a very handy undo and redo option here, and clicking over here lets us look at the undo history. Here we have four macro controls. They are pre-assigned in this preset, but you can always customize these. Clicking on this wrench over here will open up additional settings. We have the settings tab to set the MIDI channel, play mode, unison settings, overall polyphony. The original Jupiter 8 was an 8 voice synthesizer, but over here we can maximize it all the way up to 16 voices. MIDI tab for MIDI mapping, we'll take a look at this in detail later on. The macros that I was talking about, so here you can customize the macros. And you also have built in tutorials here. Next, let's check out the Advanced tab. Over here, we have additional controls that Arturia have added on to the classic synth. So we have additional LFOs, LFO2, LFO3. That's because LFO1 is built into the synth here. And we also have this interesting combined modulation with the modulation mixer here. There's a step sequencer, as well as a modulation sequencer. Some MIDI controls here with velocity, aftertouch, mod wheel, keyboard tracking, which can be assigned to up to three different destinations each. And lastly, there's this effects section. So you get three different effects slots. You can choose to run the effects in parallel or series, and each effect slot can have any of these different effects. All right, I'm gonna close out of the advanced tab, close the settings tab here, and now we're looking at the main interface of the instrument. All right, in the next tutorial, let's take a look at the individual modules we get on the Jupyter 8V.